Welcome back everybody. I think it's time to update my carpentry. So let's head on into the Carpenters Guild and see what type of quest he's got for us today. I'm in my carpenter stance. And beat. Talk to me. Initiate saw. Sweet. Could also get. Okay, let's take a look at some of this stuff. Um headgear, which is control 13. It's better headgear. Gloves, control of 13. Pants, control of 13. So it looks like the pants would be the best upgrade. All right, so the pants would be the best upgrade. Timber Master Beaton has a request for Willard Schreiber Carpenter. Ah, Tickman, my thoughts have turned to you lately. I trust you have honed your skills further since we last met. In that case, I have a request. Perhaps you have made Iron Lancers before your, your customers. However, you have not made them for me. As you doubtless know, my standards differ from those of others. An Iron Lance design is one of elegance and simplicity, and I won't see you demonstrate your understanding of those qualities through your work. This ask of all my charges. The Iron Lance is a barrage of elm, iron, and leather. As you are doubtless aware, the requisite elm lumber and circlets of leather are readily available within the city. Iron ingots, however, are much rarer as they are forged by the smiths of Limolosa. Procuring them will prove far more problematic. You must steal yourself for a long and arduous journey, Tick Man. The wilderness is infested with unspeakable horrors, and the roads are watched by bandit hordes. Ah, but I jest. While such arduous character building trials may have been possible once upon a time, they are, alas, simply unfeasible now. You need only browse the marker boards or enlist in the aid of blacksmithing associates to obtain the iron you require. Oh, and there is but one more thing you must needs do. I would have you attach a single material to the lance you craft. Any type will suffice. I find it hard to believe that an experienced adventurer like yourself could be unfamiliar with the substance. Oh, but I'm not. But on the off chance that you are, I suggest you seek out the Goblin Fellow in Central Thailand. There is no one more knowledgeable to the, on the subject, or so I've heard. When you are in possession of all necessary materials, I bid you craft me a single material enhanced iron nuggets. Alright, so I did prep for this one a little bit. So, if we're here, let's go to the levels. And where is that Iron Lance? That's the one he wants, I believe, right? So I've got everything together for it. Here we are. And let's synthesize. He might even get himself a good one, depending on how we roll. Here we go. And it's begun. Using that fast hasty touch three times then we're going to give ourselves master's mend give us more durability back and then more hasty touch oh failed it nice tricks of the trade gotta love it Uh, let's hope for some more tricks of the trade. There we go. We need one more tricks of the trade. Looks like we're only going to get up to 16%. Yep. Because we didn't get that tricks of the trade. Oh, well, we got an Iron Lance. That's all he wanted. And next, try on Meld. 
Let's give him a tier one. Direct hit rate determination. And let's melt it. And it is done. We have him an enhanced iron lance. So let's turn this bad boy in and get our rewards. Is your lance ready? I'm eager to see what you have wrought. It's not high quality, but we're not getting lucky with the rolls today. You do not disappoint, Tick Man. Your lance exceeds my expectations. These formidable weapons were originally intended for use by Ish Guardian Cavalry and were designed with the aim of maximizing, maximizing their bearers' effectiveness on the field of battle. By utilizing the speed of his mount, a lance welding knight could easily deliver a devastating blow that would cripple, if not outright kill. But this mode of attack place significantly strain on both the rider and his weapon. Should the latter fall, the knight would be left defenseless. Needless to say, the iron lance provided to be anything but prone to failure, eventually prompting guardian wood whalers to adopt it as their own. The difference between the modern Grenadian weapon and the Ishengard original are not so substantial, amounting to little more than a smaller fan plate. Our lancers do not require the same protection as a mounted knight, you see. Fascinating, is it not? The history our weapons carry. How they change and evolve to meet different demands. Truly, all things possess potential for growth, weapons and armor. For rest and cities and aspiring carpenters. Remember this too, Tickman. Okay. The Iron Lance is a marvelous weapon, not because it does not bend at the moment of impact, but because it does not break. To bend, yet not break. To endure and preserve, and finally triumph. When I gaze upon this lance, I am reminded of a singular importance of resolve. A quality I saw in you when you first joined us and that will serve you well in the future. Whatever troubles you may face, remain resolute as an iron lance, and you will succeed. And we said we're taking the pants, we get a new saw, and let's complete. And a level up. Awesome. Let's check our recommended gear. Nice. All right. Well, that ends it for today. I'm going to go through the rest of my crafting, upgrade their gear, and then we might come back and do his level 25 quests. So until then, y'all take care.